If you want your animations to look more professional, you really need to understand keyframe interpolation. Keyframe interpolation is how you control what happens between keyframes. For example, in this composition, I have four identical cars doing exactly the same things at exactly the same points. So if I play this, you'll see that they're all moving from left to right and they stop. Let me rewind back. We will leave the top car alone so we can use that as reference, but we will update the other ones. Let me first go and click on the top layer. And as soon as you had the layer selected, you see that these little dots will appear. Let me zoom in. These dots, if you remember from the previous tutorials, represent frames. So the amount of dots you have here will be exactly the same as the amount of frames you have in between the two keyframes. And the distance between these dots represents the speed of the animation. The further away these dots are from each other, the faster the animation, or the greater the jump is between every frame, the closer the dots to each other, the slower the animation, or the smaller the jump is between every single frame. Let me just separate these two keyframes away from each other so we can see what's happening to the dots here. So if I give it more time to complete the same animation, that naturally is going to increase the amount of frames I have on this motion path. If I go and decrease the distance between the two keyframes, you see I now have fewer dots, as you can see. So if I zoom out by pressing Shift forward slash so we can see the whole thing, we could actually count how many dots we have here and that will give us the amount of frames we have. I can see my playhead is on the 8th frame here, meaning that I have 9 frames in total, including the last one and the first one, labelled 0. And if I was to actually count this, I can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that gives us the amount of total frames. So the distance between these dots is very important, as you'll see in just a second. So I'm going to click and drag this and then hold down the Shift key so it snaps to the rest of the keyframes. If I select the second layer here, and then if I go to the second keyframe of the second layer, and if I right click on it, and then we go right down to Keyframe Assistant, and we choose Easy Ease In. If you look at these dots carefully now, you'll see that they are closer to each other towards the end of the path, and they are further away from each other towards the beginning. That means that it will be slower towards the end, and it has to go faster at the beginning. So let's have a look at how this plays. And in fact, I'm going to shrink my entire composition so we can see this again and again easily. So I'm going to press Command K. And I'll just go to the duration here and I'll make this about two seconds long. There. So if I now play it, you see that the second layer starts faster because it has to slow down at the end. It has to make up for that slowing down motion by going faster at the beginning. And this is called easing in. So it's easing into a keyframe. Whereas if I go and right click on the first keyframe of the third layer and then choose keyframe assistant and then select ease out, this will now do pretty much exactly the opposite of what we had for ease in. So if you look at these frames, they're closer to each other, meaning that the car will be slower here. But in order for it to be able to go slowly here, it needs to go faster towards the end because it needs to make up for that lost time by going faster because I'm not changing the overall time. That's the key here. We are not changing the overall duration of the animation. We are just changing what happens to it in between the keyframes. So let's play this ease out as well. So I'm going to rewind by pressing home and then play. You see the ease out car starts slowly, then it picks up speed. The top and the bottom layers are still moving exactly as they were before. So they're set to constant speeds or linear speeds. And now let's have a look at the last car. Now on the last car, I want the first keyframe to have easy ease out. And I want the last keyframe to have easy ease in. Now that's called easy ease. If you select both of the keyframes, and then if you right click on one of them and then go to keyframe assistant and then choose easy ease. Now what we have now is if I move my playhead back a little bit is that these dots are closer to each other at the beginning. They're also closer to each other at the end. And in the middle, if I go back a little bit, they're separated away from each other. So if I go all the way back to the beginning and do another playback, this is the one that's going to look the most organic. So it's going to start slowly, it'll pick up speed and it will slow down again before it stops. Here we go. So although the keyframes values are the same in terms of where they start and where they finish and when they start and when they finish, what happens in between the keyframes is completely different. In the next tutorial, we'll talk about how to edit the keyframes by using the graph editor.